Happy New Year, everyone, and welcome to a special holiday break edition of Siena Saints Weekly. I'm your host, Andrew Champagne. In just a moment, we'll be joined by men's basketball forward Ryan Rossiter, but first let's take a look at the week that was in Siena Athletics. Women's basketball has made the New York City area their home away from home as of late. They've won three straight road games at Fordham, Iona, and Manhattan, and are tied atop the MAC with a 2-0 conference record. They'll next be in action with two home games on January 8th and January 10th when they host Ryder and Fairfield at the Arc. Swimming and diving has been off for the past month. They'll return to action on January 15th in a quad meet at Bryant. And men's basketball has been busy so far in 2011. The Saints beat Iona 73-67 on Monday night and have had a few interesting adventures the past few days as well. Joining me now is senior Ryan Rossiter. Ryan, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me. My pleasure. First, you had an eye injury a few weeks ago at Georgia Tech. In fact, I think there's still some blood there. What exactly happened? Um, I was going for a rebound and got uh, poked in the eye, and my eyelid kind of flipped inside out. It's kind of weird. And um, the next morning, I woke up, and my eye was completely bloodshot. And, you know, two weeks later now, it's still a little bit bloodshot. Not to mention the fact that you were battling, I believe, a stomach virus during that game. In the post-game interviews, you looked like you went 15 rounds with Mike Tyson. You <laughs> did not look like a healthy individual. Against Iona, you went up against one of the top post players in the conference, and Mike Glover. What was the strategy going in to try and contain that offense? Um, I think we needed to just stop their uh, fast breaks. Their point guard really gets out and runs, and if we could get under him, that really stops the offense, and just try to keep uh, Glover off the glass because he's a monster. Glover's nickname, of course, Optimus Prime. Jason Rich in Athletic Communications was very proud of dubbing <laughs> you Megatron in several game recaps. What's your take on the new nickname? Um, you know, it, it's fun. You know, the media really, uh, they really get into it, the, the Optimus Prime Megatron battle, and, uh, you know, give Jay Rich some credit for being clever. You don't take any offense to the fact that Megatron was actually a bad guy in the comic books and the movies? No, nah, it's all right. You know, sometimes a bad guy's fun. Hey, take it, run with it. Let's shift gears for a moment here. The past two days, you've taken time out of your schedule to volunteer around the area. Tell us a little bit about it. Um, you know, two days ago, we were able to go down to a local food bank and just help sorting some uh, appliances, some paper towels, some goods for the families that are a little less fortunate. So, um, you know, anytime you can do something like that, it's a good feeling and, you know, it's a good way to give back to the community that supports us so much. And then uh, earlier today, we were able to go down to a local school, help out with some of the kids, read to them, uh, do some arts and crafts with them, show them some basketball stuff. and. Uh, you know, the kids really, really get excited for that, and it's a good day off for them, and it's good just to teach them, you know, classroom work is important, and probably it's more important than any sport. Ryan, what kind of a feeling is it to give back to a community that's supported Siena basketball for so long? Um, it, you know, it's great. Like you said, they, they give us so much support on and off the court, so much uh, coverage that we really, you know, that really motivates us to play, and any time you can give back and maybe help some kids out, maybe that'll motivate them. And, uh, you know, maybe someone wasn't, you know, too high on schoolwork before today and now they realize the importance of it and now they're very excited and want to get good grades and get into college. Certainly can be very rewarding. This weekend you guys go out west to play Canisius and Niagara. You've mentioned how the fans out there can get a little rough. Are you looking forward to the trip? Uh, yeah, definitely. Unfortunately, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's winter break so they might not be there, but I think the Niagara fans are, you know, a ton of fun. They really get on you and make the game interesting. In the same vein, what's been the most creative way a fan has ever tried to get on you during a game? Um, you know, you know I've, I've heard everything. You know, anything you can think of, I've heard. Uh, you know, Niagara does a good job. They had a bunch of uh, signs of me last year, a bunch of big pictures of me throughout the crowd. So that was fun, and they would just do some stuff to the signs throughout the game, try to get me off my game. But, uh, you know, it, it's a lot of fun, like I said. Has anything like that ever worked? No, I mean, it actually, I, I play better when that stuff happens. I kind of like it. Take note of that out there, Mac <laughs> fans. Lightning round, the new revised version. This is very exciting for me here. We, we might need a new intro video for this. Your least favorite movie? Um, I mean, I, I got a ton. I don't, I don't know if I could just pinpoint just one because the ones I don't like are If you bad had movie. to pick a few, what would be some of the few that you would pick? Oh, God. Um, probably, uh, I mean, honestly, I'm not sure. Probably anything... Uh, Ronald Moore would make me watch. I'm not too thrilled at his taste in movies. Wow. He, he steps off campus yep. and you just bash his taste in movies. <laughs> I wonder if they get this in Slovakia. <laughs> What's the best concert you've ever been to? Um, the only concert I've ever been to was uh, the Dave Matthews up at SPAC. And I, I didn't really know about it until I got to Siena, but you know, a ton of my friends from school go up there. So in the summer, I'll just go up there to see some of them. But I, I didn't even go into the concert, to be honest. Hmm. You're picked to win the Super Bowl this year. Um... Probably the Patriots. I mean, they've just, they're playing great all season. They have great offense, great defense. 
Um, you know, unfortunately, my Giants didn't make the Super Bowl. I mean, they didn't make the playoffs, but I think the Patriots are the team to beat. You feel secure about Coughlin coming back next year? Yeah, definitely. If you could have tickets to any sporting event in the world, which one would you go to? Um, anything in the world? Maybe the running of the Bulls in Spain. I think that really? would be fun if we're going to consider that a sporting would event. Would you run or would you just watch? I'd run behind the Bulls. Who would, who would be the one person on the team that you would take with you? To run? Yeah. Steve Friese. Okay. Yeah, that'd be, I can imagine that'd be pretty entertaining. <laughs> Pam flowing a run around, darting in and out. What's your favorite book? Um, probably uh, The Miracle of St. Anthony. What made that book so good? You know, it's about uh, St. Anthony's basketball program in Jersey City, high school program. And it just shows, you know, it's not just about basketball. It's a lot more on how the struggle is just to stay open through money and how they have to raise money and what they do. It's about, you know, Bobby Knight, who's one of the best coaches. I mean, um, Bob Hurley, who's one of the best coaches in high school basketball. Finally, last question. We're doing away with the dead or alive thing for one week only. <laughs> if I'm calling you up as a Hollywood producer and I want to produce the Ryan Rossiter story, what actor would you want playing you? Uh, Will Smith. Why Will Smith? The uncanny physical resemblance? That for one. And, uh, you know, I just like his style, his acting style. I think uh, he'd be a good fit. You know, Connor Fenlon responded the exact same way when I asked him that question. He said, oh, did Will Smith. <laughs> he did. I didn't know that. That's a little disturbing now, isn't it? I like it. Good to know that I've, you know, I've given you some positive reinforcement. <laughs> well, that's going to do it for today. I'd like to thank Ryan Rossiter for stopping by. We'll be back with new episodes of Sienna Saints Weekly in just a few weeks. Until then, follow Sienna Athletics at SiennaSaints.com. I'm Andrew Champagne, signing off.